German plural. Oh, mm. nine. Oh, yes. Six German tips and tricks which will make your life much easier. Hello, welcome back and welcome back to another episode of Your German Teacher. My name is Luzi and today we're going to talk about German plural. German plural. Eh, I know. It's a kind of annoying topic. There's so many exceptions, so many rules. That's why I did this video to help you and give you six, six tips and tricks which should help you to get the plural right in most cases. And stick around because at the end I'm going to give you a bonus tip. And the bonus tip is all about umlaut. Umlaut, so you know maybe in plural there's a lot of umlaute. The two dots and when do you have do you have to add this umlaut? Let's start with tip number eins. Tip number eins. Tip number one. Nomen mit der Endung e. Nouns ending with the e, which are a lot. Maybe remember in one of my other videos when we talked about gender. Almost 50% of all the nouns are feminine and a lot of those feminine nouns are ending with E. So there's also masculine nouns ending with E and neutral nouns also ending with E. So there's a lot, a lot of nouns ending with E. And in almost, almost, almost 100%, 98%, 98% what do you do? You just add a N. That's it. If you have a noun ending with E, add always. Just add the N. Zum Beispiel, eine Tasche, eine Tasche, zwei Taschen, zwei Taschen. Oder eine Lampe, eine Lampe, zwei Lampen, zwei Lampen. Tipp Nummer zwei. Männliche Nomen. Männliche Nomen sind masculine nouns. What do you do? You add a E. Richtig. Just add an E. And then you're going to be fine in around 90%. 90% you're going to be good. Zum Beispiel ein Tisch, ein Tisch, zwei Tische, zwei Tische. Oder ein Stift, ein Stift, zwei Stifte, zwei Stifte. Tipp Nummer 3. Weibliche Nomen. All female nouns. All female nouns. What do you do? Add N or EN. Add N or EN and you're going to be fine for in around 90% as well. Zum Beispiel eine Feder. Eine Feder. Zwei Federn. Zwei Federn. Oder eine Tür. Eine Tür. One door. Zwei Türen. Zwei Türen, two doors. Tipp Nummer 4. Sächliche Nomen. Sächliche Nomen sind neutral nouns. What do you do? You add ER. Just add ER. There's a lot of neutral nouns ending, ending also in plural with E, but do add ER or E, both very common. You're going to be fine in around 80% of all the nouns when you add a ER. Zum Beispiel ein Bild, ein Bild, zwei Bilder, zwei Bilder. Oder ein Ei, ein Ei ist ein Egg, zwei Eier, zwei Eier. Tipp Nummer 5. Nouns ending with ER, EN, EL and Chien. Chien ist der diminutive form in 90%. Don't do anything. Good news, right? Meaning it stays the same. Singular and plural is the same endings. No change. No change. Same, same. Zum Beispiel. Singular, ein Messer. Messer is a knife. Ein Messer. Plural, zwei Messer. Same, same. Oder ein Erdbeben. Erdbeben is earthquake. Zwei Erdbeben. Oder ein Möbel. Möbel is furniture. Zwei Möbel. Oder ein Brötchen. Brötchen. Ein kleines Brot. 
die Small Buns, die Small Round Buns, zwei Brötchen. Tipp Nummer 6. Non-German nouns. Non-German nouns is the meaning nouns which are not from the German language. So they come from another language. Non-German nouns and Abkürzungen. Abkürzungen sind abbreviations. And nouns ending with O, A, I und Y. What do you do? You just add a S. That's it. Zum Beispiel ein Sofa, ein Sofa, zwei Sofas. Zwei Sofas. Sofa is a couch and originally this word comes from the Arabic language. Oder eine DVD, die DVD, eine DVD, zwei DVDs. DVD is an abbreviation, eine Abkürzung. Oder ein Büro, Büro is an office, zwei Büros. Ein Handy, zwei Handys, cell phone. Überblick. Überblick is a summary. Now I'm going to give you even a summary of those six tips. So the most important things. Nummer eins. Maskulin. Maskulin nouns add a E. Nummer zwei. Feminin. Feminin nouns add N or EN. Nummer drei. Neutral nouns. Neutral nouns add a E R. Nummer vier. Nouns ending with E always add an N. And number fünf, fünf is, in case you forgot everything, always add E. Because E is just the most common plural ending, so in case you're not sure, add an E. And with these rules, with these rules, you're going to be fine in around 80%, which is quite a lot. Only remember these rules and you're going to be fine in almost 80 or around 80%. One more thing, if you learn a new noun, always try to remember it or to memorize it or to learn it together with the plural form. Like this, everything is going to be easier. So every time you learn a new noun, always also learn it together with the plural form. Bonus tip. Umlaut tips. So as I said before, there's a lot of umlaut in plural. If the noun is ending with a e in plural then you have mostly you have to change the umlaut for example eine stadt die stadt city zwei städte zwei städte oder ein knopf der knopf is a button ein knopf zwei knöpfe oder ein ball ein ball is a ball zwei bälle same goes for nouns ending in plural with er for example ein haus zwei häuser zwei häuser it's a house oder ein mann ein mann zwei männer zwei männer oder ein bad zwei bäder and for nouns which are the same in singular and plural also mostly and these are all mostly there is a lot of exceptions again zum beispiel ein vater zwei vater zwei väter zwei väter oder die mutter die mutter zwei mütter oder ein vogel vogel is a bird ein vogel zwei vögel question of the day wie viele handys hast du wie viele handys hast du wie viele is how many and actually this question is very useful if you want to practice plural because after we feel it, you always have to use the noun in plural in the plural form so we feel a handies has to we feel a computer has to we feel a taschen has to we feel a tische has to so always we feel it plus the noun in plural that was it Vielen Dank, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe below or write a nice comment or hit the like button, even better. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Until then, alles Gute. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen. Bye bye.